Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Den. I'm your favorite Tuesday Cub, Will, here, coming to you live from the vast frozen wasteland that is Maryland. God damn it, Elsa, I hate you so much right now. Bruh, seriously, everything is frozen outside. But enough about my struggles to keep warm. It's Q&A week here on The Den. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I really love this week so much because I enjoy reading all of your questions and giving the most sarcastic answer possible. And maybe, just maybe, if I'm feeling it a real answer or two. Right, so let's go ahead and get the show on the road. First question of the day comes from Clinton. By the way, none of these questions are read in any particular order, so keep that in mind. Clinton wants to know, uh, I know it's not been a, quite a year to date since you guys have started this YouTube channel, but what, have, what is the greatest thing that you've learned or gotten from doing your videos on The Den? Um, this is going to be a two-part qu answer for me. Uh, the first part is, even though the bear community is worldwide and very vast, uh, it's a very tight-knit and close community. Uh, ever since starting this channel, I now have friends all over England, all over uh, Europe, uh, Australia, you name it, I probably have a bear friend there. And they're all wonderful people. I love them so much. And yeah, the other thing is um, this the message that we've been sending out to uh, bears all over the world it's uh, it's very powerful, and uh, I've gotten several messages from people who have viewed the channel saying how much this channel means to them, and it just it just warms my heart, and it makes me feel really good knowing that we're doing doing some good in the world, and I really appreciate the love, and I look forward to doing these videos uh, more for you guys. It's it's gonna be a great 2015 for you. Okay, so Clinton would also like to know, if you were president slash prime minister for a day, what would be the first thing you would change? I love this question so much because, alright, for the record, I'm not all that big into politics, but because I live in such close proximity to Washington, D.C., I cannot escape that shit. It's constantly on the fucking news, and I always kind of have to put in my two cents a little. But yeah, uh, if I were asked a question like this, uh, it would be golden because it really gets you thinking. And if I were president for a day... The first thing I would change, no matter what, would be I would make every member of the House, Senate, and Congress uh, be forced to live on minimum wage for about, mm, let's say, a year. Why don't we do that? Because I've been working minimum wage jobs since, I've, since maybe 17, 18, and yeah, it fucking sucks doing all that work for that little pay. And uh, let's just see how you guys do that on our, on our, on our wages. Yeah. Have a taste of our medicine. So the next question comes from John. He would like to know, uh, what is your guilty pleasure? I'm pretty sure I've answered this question already, but I'll answer it again because I have a new guilty pleasure. But my current guilty pleasure is, I love Glee. I'm not afraid to admit that. There is no shame in that. Gleek for life. And yeah, I love the New Directions. I'm watching the final season. I'm enjoying it, and I fully support Blaine, Blaine and Karofsky. Hashtag Blairofsky. My new guilty pleasure is uh, not one but three lovely ladies, Jesse, Nikki, and Ari. Yes, the song Bang Bang, that is my shit right there. I Every time it comes on, I crank up the radio, I sing at the top of my lungs. Yep, I, I'll, I have a blast to, uh, listening to that song. Because let's face it, who doesn't want to bang bang all over you? These next series of questions comes from our good buddy Michael. He would like to know, uh, what is your favorite ice cream flavor and what is your favorite ice cream shop? Hands down, my favorite ice cream flavor has to be chocolate chip cookie dough. I love that shit. It's like crack for me. And uh, my favorite ice cream shop sadly does not have chocolate chip cookie dough flavor, but it's a Maryland institution. Every summer, it's a requirement that I go get me some motherfucking Jimmy Cone. Uh, it's in a previous video. I think it's the scavenger hunt video. Go and watch that. You will understand why uh, Jimmy Cone is a true Maryland institution. Alright, so Michael's next question is, if you could attend any bear event on the planet, what would it be? Oh my god, all of them, really, because I haven't really gone to any bear events. I mean, I go to Bear Happy Hour every once in a while, that's a weekly bear event uh, down in D.C., but, um, yeah, if it's like one of those weekend bear uh, runs or bear events, uh, I definitely want to go to Texas Bear Roundup. I want to go to Tidal Wave. I want to go to Great British Bear Bash. I want to go to Bear Scots Fest. I want to go to all. Go to them all. I want to go to a. I want to be a Bear Fest event master. Yeah, I just made a Pokemon joke about bears. So what? Finally, Michael would like to know. Uh, now that marriage equality is now legal in Florida, where would be your ideal wedding? Um. Hmm. That is a very tough question. I. I don't see myself getting married anytime soon. But. Uh, Honestly, I, I, I'm kind of going to go cheesy here. I want, I want a beach wedding. I want an outdoor beach wedding. Uh, no suits, just Hawaiian shirts. Very casual, very laid back. But yeah, that, that sounds like a pretty fun day to me. 
So the next question comes from my buddy Dan up in Canada. He wants to know, what are some gay safe vacations or destinations that you've been on? We want to go away, but aren't really sure where is good or bad. Thank you. Dan, you are most welcome. God, you guys are so polite. Um, let's see, gay safe vacations or destinations. I haven't really been on that many vacations. Well, obviously, for starters, Washington, D.C. Come on, you gotta come visit me and uh, Eric and, and live it up. I mean, you got the monuments, you got the museums, great nightlife. Fuck, we'll even go see a hockey game. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's a really great town. Um, there are definitely some parts of D.C. that you really want to avoid, especially southeast D.C., but other than that, D.C. is still a very wonderful city to visit. Um, let's see, other gay destinations I've visited. Uh, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. I love that town. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been since before I've came out, so I haven't really gotten a chance to experience the nightlife or gay scene there. Uh, let's see, I've been to New York, I've been to Montreal, but I'm assuming you don't really want to go to Montreal because you live in Canada and you want to get the fuck away from there. And uh, let's see, uh, I've been to Orlando, I've been to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, I've been to Las Vegas. All of those have been really good, but I, again, I haven't really gotten to experience uh, the gay scenes there. Um, New York has a pretty good gay scene, uh, boxers, uh, the Stonewall, but again, you gotta really know where you're going there in that town. Um, as for gay destinations that I really want to go on, Sydney, Perth, uh, definitely all those down in Australia. Yeah, Spencer, I'm looking at you. Um, yeah, so uh, definitely for starters, DC. Alright, so the last three questions come from Andrew. Uh, his first question is, what is your biggest turn on for a guy sexually? Like, for example, butt, nipple, rings, etc. Ooh, finally, a sexy question. Okay, uh, oh, this is really tough. Um... I guess I'd have to say a butt, because, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm all about that ass. <laughs> oh, God, I'm blushing so hard right now, because I'm just thinking about stuff about Gavin that really turns me on. Um, yes, he has a nice butt. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, ooh, I also like uh, tongue rings. Me, personally, I do not want a tongue ring, but I've, I've made out with a couple guys who have had tongue rings. And let's just say they know how to use their tongue. And uh, I'm also a nipple guy. I like having my nipples played with. I like also playing with nipples. And, um, hmm. Let's see here. Oh, Gavin does this thing uh, where he, like, bites my ear and, like, nuzzles on it. Oh, God, that turns me on. Ugh. Fuck yes. Okay. God, uh, okay. I need to go take a cold shower right now after that question. Alright, so Andrew's next question is, uh, there's a guy, and he's super hot, and he so wants my body, but he's told me he's in an open relationship. What would you do? Would you fall back or go for it? Oh, man, that's a really tough question. Um, honestly, it depends on what I'm looking for at the moment. If I'm looking for more of a serious relationship, and I'm, like, really hot for that guy, and I want more than just a one-night stand, uh, then, yeah, I'd, I'd probably just fall back and let him... Let, let him move on. But, uh, yeah, if I was just looking for, like, a really fun night, uh, or maybe some friends with benefits kind of stuff, then, yeah, I'd, I'd probably go for it, because, damn, if he's hot, he's hot. Go for it. But, yeah, again, if he's in a relationship, um, open relationship, make sure his partner's okay with it first. Yes, definitely do that. Um, but, yeah, uh, again, it all depends on what you want. Uh, if you're looking for more of a relationship, I'd say fall back. But if you're looking for more fun, I'd say go for it. And finally, uh, if you were in the show My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, what would your pony name be and why? Oh, fuck me. It's a brony question. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Andrew. I hate to break it to you, but I, uh, I'm not a brony. I do not watch My Little Pony. Uh, but, but, have no fear. I, I do have a backup here. Uh, I have on my phone a resident uh, closeted brony. Uh, I am not going to release his name or details or anything about that. But I asked him this question, and this was his response. Um, maybe Stony or Welshy Donut or Cook as of right now? I kind of think Donut would be the most applicable at the moment. So yeah, there you go. Also, if you have no idea who this is, uh, yeah, you should probably give up. Right, so that's just about going to wrap it up for me for Q&A this week. I want to thank you all so much for submitting your questions. I had a blast answering them. Uh, right, I have to go now because I have to go start packing. Because tomorrow, as the great Peter, Paul, and Mary once sang, I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, babe, I hate to go. 
Yep, I'm flying out to Texas tomorrow. It's going to be a great week. Uh, Squishy, the wonderful, lovely Megan, is going to be here next week for uh, the den, and she's very excited to be a part of it, and I'm very excited to have her. And yeah, it's going to be really fun, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, don't forget to come back tomorrow to see what Aaron's answers for your burning questions are. Uh, join the den and join the discussion. As always, all the links and clickables are going to be down below in the crotch. And I will see you next week from sunny Corpus Christi, Texas. Bye, everybody. Bye.